Now there's a state beyond apathy, grief, and fear. And a lot of you got into it yesterday. I didn't talk about it. And we're going to go over these states and how to deal with them a little bit more congruently. But there's a state beyond apathy, grief, and fear. What is it? It's the spins. How many of you were in the spins yesterday where your mind was racing and you were bouncing and you were thinking and you when apathy, grief, and fear become too much, we start spinning. That's when we start thinking too much, analyzing too much. And how often in your life are you in the spins? A lot. Like, and, and I just keep myself busy from not thinking about too much stuff. Putting like so much stuff in my day that I just don't need to think about. Yeah, that's that's state pumping. That's kind of a little different, but the spins are uh, are when you're overwhelmed trying to figure out a problem and you can't. And your mind just races faster and faster trying to figure it out. Thank you. Right. Faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Who's had that feeling before? Oh. Let's kill these things. Sucks, doesn't it? How, how do you solve the spins? Watch. Yeah, you stop trying to release. Don't release in the spins. Releasing, this, it, it, that's the one place it won't work. You will release, release, and you'll create more spins. In the spins, when you release, you create more spins. So, does, does this make sense to you guys? So you get totally lost in thinking and thoughts at the bottom level, the heaviest body, and you get stuck in this cycle of thinking, I gotta figure this out, and then you go back and, and you're, you're, you're analyzing your thoughts, and you're analyzing this, and then below thoughts is stories. Like part of thoughts is stories and programs. Okay, so in here you've got all these stories and programs, right? Stories about, because when you think about something a lot and you feel an emotion, you create stories about it. Okay, and then the stories, if you keep going through the stories, you've got 10 stories going at once and you've got this spin going on in your head about all, oh, this is the reason, the time my mom and the time this happened. And, and you see what I mean? And you get enough stories, you just have a program running in the background. Oh, that's just the way my life is. Does this sound familiar to you guys? Okay, cool. And so the, the first thing to do, whenever I was in the spins, I used to be in the spins a lot. When I was in the spins, I would just have to stop and observe the spins themselves. I'd welcome all the thoughts, the emotions, the feelings, the sensations, the experiences, everything that was coming up and just watch it. And I would sit with it. Sometimes it'd take 10 minutes, sometimes it'd take 45 minutes. But the idea was to get down from beneath the stories and the spins back to the, till I can hear the individual thoughts and start to feel the individual emotions again. But the mo every time you look at the emotions, if they're constantly changing moment to moment, it's like a tornado, you're in the spins. And a big indicator of the spins is a frustrated, overwhelmed kind of feeling.